Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back for more Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we started Chapter Four and gotten here to Twilight Town, only to learn that these people are turning into pigs when the bell tolls. And in this episode, we got a what did we get last episode? We got a keys. We got some keys. You have the shop key and the black key. And the lady here told us in the shop that we could take anything sh we want from the shop the locked door if we found the key. So we're gonna go open this door up and we're gonna go see what's inside because there might be some useful stuff in here. Oh, there's a lot of nice stuff in here. What do we have here? We have a jam and jelly. One of the best, it is the best FP recovery item in the game. Well, actually it's technically not, but I'll get into that a little bit later. You have the boost sheet, which makes you invisible so enemies will sometimes, well, will all the time miss you until it wears off. And life shroom, so you definitely want to get all these items. And here you get the Defend Plus badge, which increases Mario's defense by one, but it costs like six BP to use it, so I don't recommend it. And then this door, this little chest here. Hold up, hey, who's there? I just heard a voice. There's no way that people can be here. Seriously, that's just so unlikely. Huh? What's that you say? You've seen a chest like this before? Get out of here. No, 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 I'm, like, I'm not like those chests, I promise. Look at my eyes, tell me I'm lying. I'm not, seriously, just get me out of here, you'll see. Don't make me beg. What? Come on, you know how ridiculous you sound right now. I'm laughing in here. You honestly think I'm going to curse you when I get out? Curse you? <clears throat> well, I did plan on doing something to you, but it's not so much a curse as a, well, a really wonderful new ability that will allow you to go to special places. Doesn't that sound nice? Aw, oh, come on, please, just find the key and open the chest, okay? I know it's here somewhere, I just can't look for it myself because I'm in here. So, pretty, pretty please? Well, if you said please, I guess it wouldn't harm. Oh, thank goodness, you're going to let me out? Oh, happy day! <clears throat> Let's do it! Wee! Fools! Uh huh. Oh, this is gonna hurt my voice again. Oh god, let's do it. What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? Now I'm gonna hit you with the King of Curses, the cursiest curse ever! Fear my terrible power! You shall know the pain of having your body roll up. Be cursed! Wee! <laughs> now you're cursed, loser. Savor your suffering. When this curse strikes you, you won't be able to walk. That's how one. That's how awful it is. Wee! <laughs> your suffering amuses me, and so I laugh. Now show me your cursed flight so I can laugh all the more. Just press and hold R, then rotate the control stick repeatedly. Well, there you are. Just rotate the control stick, and you get this. Wee! Your pathetic misery thrills me to the core. You must roll around like a silly cardboard tube. Oh, how you'll be laughed at! Now, do you understand the depth of your own agony? Yes, I do, sir. Wee! Press be the return to normal. Don't forget, much brain. I leave you to suffer, fools. Wee! <coughs> oh my! <God. coughs> <coughs> 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 That curse, I swear. This is my second time recording this video because my first time Audacity failed on me, so. <clears throat> and I get an email, which I don't feel like reading. I think there's a star piece in here, but I'm not exactly sure. I'll go back on that later. But, anyways, hold R and rotate the control stick to turn into this ability. It's actually quite nice. I mean, it's hard to control while you're rolling in it, but it's uh, it's okay. It lets you get out of. Um, it lets you get to hard to reach areas that you could normally access. Which is cool. I like that. That's really cool. You need it here, actually. You roll around here. You roll through this. Come back up. But if you go back here, you get a star piece. So who knew, right? Anyways. Oh, I need flurry. Come here, flurry. Let's open this up, shall we? And I'm going to send out... Actually, I want to send out Goombella. You might think I'm crazy talk. But trust me, I'm not as crazy as you fools may think. <laughs> Use a Goombella. Who uses Goombella? There's actually something I really want to see in here. Th this is the woods or whatnot. And we got a new enemy in here. We have... What do we have here? We have the Crazy Daisies. These guys sing at you for damage. It's, it's annoying, to say the least. There is a rare chance that an enemy could appear in here. And I kind of want to show that enemy off when I see it. 
Because it's an enemy you don't want to miss. Because I'm telling you right now, you don't want to miss it. Um. Who wants it Oops. I guess so. Because I know how to super guard. Hooray! I don't have to deal with you. And you're powered up. Snizzle. But like I said, there was those crazy daisies. But there are enemies in here that are rare to find that you don't want to miss out. I'm telling you right now. Those enemies, if I find one and show it off, oh my goodness, are they going to be nice to find if I find one. If I kill one, actually. Oh, no, no, I don't want to get rid of Thunder Wave. I don't want to get rid of the Dizzy Dial. There you go. Okay. Are you one of these fools that has the guy I want to fight? No? You don't? Well, that makes me sad. You make me all sad inside. I want to find this rare enemy before I leave this area. Because I'm telling you right now, if I can kill one, oh goodness will it be worth it. Can I super guard this? No. But it puts us to sleep, which is great news. We're gonna... Don't sing. No! Oh, this is gonna hurt. Urgh! Yeah, that hurt. A lot. Oh, God. That hurt. And that's what the super hammer does if I had never shown it already. But, yeah, those are what the hyper enemies do for damage. Those murder you. But luckily, I'm not so worried because... You'll see in a moment. Because... I gain a lot of star points, and I level up! Yeah! New level up heals everything off me. So, I think I increased BP last time I leveled up, but I'm not exactly sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase HP. I could be wrong though, but I don't care. And we become a beatless star. Now, okay, what that means is, when Mario reaches a certain level, his stage will increase. Like, his stage gets bigger, bigger, and he gets... Um, a bigger crowd, which is great if you're trying to get star points by either super or uh, stylish commands or otherwise appealing to the crowd, which is great. And you are not the one who you are not the sir that has the enemies I wish to fight, which makes me sad. But we get new enemies, we get hyperclefts. I mean, that's nice, right? Hyperclefts are really just like regular clefts that they charge up just like any other hyper enemy does. So it's really nothing to worry about. But I really want to see these... Oh, I really want to find one of these enemies. Another Earthquake badge? I'll take it. I'll get rid of... Actually, I'll get rid of the Fire Flower for that. Okay, so let's see here. Flurry, you want to be sent out for this part so she can blow this away. So open this up to go through, and we can access more of this forest. Okay, I want to send out Moonbella just in case I find this enemy. This special Sir. Actually, I can send out Flurry again. Send out Flurry to blow away this off. Use your super jump ability to go through this to move this nice rock out of the way. And then we go back inside. I mean, there are more chances to come- you come back here more than once, not to spoil anything, but if you're trying to look through that rare enemy, you don't have to on this- on your first visit, because you do come back through this forest again, so it's- <gasps> There it is! There! She blows! That's the enemy! This is the Amazing Daisy, as I mentioned! These guys are redonkulous! These guys- oh my god, I want to keep you alive! Or not keep you alive. I want to kill you. Luckily, in this game, you can't super, you can't do that stuff. Please, can I please keep you in the fight? Please, please stay. No, you don't. You don't want to stay. Oh, that makes me sad. Well, amazing daisies. They do that. You you'll see their bio when the, when the enemy goes up. But oh my god, it. They give you so much star points, and I really wish I could kill one, but I don't think I was able to at that point. 
Unless I power lifted, but I don't know how that would help. I mean, I wouldn't do enough damage anyways, but... Oh, back here? Like, you see that in the little background? You get a shine sprite behind this tree. Very well hidden shine sprite, I might say myself, though. So, be careful. Don't miss that. So, if you're watching this video, make sure you get that shine sprite. I mean, like I said, you come back here more than once, so it's really not a big deal if you miss it or not, so it's okay. But here it is, the creepy steeple. This is creepy steeple, where the monster supposedly lives. This place creeps me out. Let's get that crystal star and get out of here as fast as we possibly can, okay? That yeah, sounds good. Okay, but what I want to do is... Let's see, I need a person who can deal out damage to a lot of enemies at once. So, Koops does the job. Now, the reason why I say that is because over here, you get a shine sprite. Our second one, of course. Sir, you are floating on something. I have no idea. But you, you're a buzzy beetle. Buzzy beetles are... Like, in any, in any normal enemy in Mario games, they have a lot of defense. If you flip them over, they're flipped only for one turn instead of the normal two for Koopas. So it's pretty cool. Go back here, however. You're gonna get stormed with a bunch of these folks. I just came in here for the tornado jump badge, and I'm gonna leave. Actually, I'm gonna fight one. Because you guys are cool. And besides, I haven't shown these enemies off yet. The spike tops. Spike tops are not so bad. Just, and they're like the spiky, the buzzy beetles with spikes on them. Yeah, that's what the stage does. And I'm just gonna murder these faces. To gain some additional star points, because I kind of like some more star points. Now, I might fight one more. To get some more experience. I, I think I don't feel comfortable with the way my stats look. I mean, I'm not gonna level up here, but I'm just going to just dish out additional damage. Oh, of course. Basically, with that being there, that means I can barely miss- I can barely hit them now. I killed two of them, which is cool. Okay, can I jump on you and make this work? Thank you. You're dead. Cool. So I'm gonna get a, a little bit more star points than that now. Oh, whoa, 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 what's that? Power punch? Uh, get rid of honey syrup, I guess? I just want to fight these guys. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Before we do anything, I want another shot at an Amazing Daisy. I mean, why not? Like, what am I doing for the rest of this video? I mean, I plan on ending it off here when we get to the creepy steeple, but this video is not long enough. So, I want to go back and look for another Amazing Daisy. Just cause, I don't, I don't know, I don't have any reason to actually look for another one of these. But are you, do you have one? No? You don't? It's okay though. I mean, these enemy battles are short enough where I don't have to really come out, out of them. Cause I'm already talking in the videos, so. Oh, you're dead. So why does it matter to me? Why does it matter to me? Power shell you faces and you're dead. There you go. I mean, I'm talking in the middle of these battles. I'm not, it's not like I'm like, you know, not saying anything, so. Goombella, I kind of want you because you are a great person to have. Actually, do I have any badges that increase my attack power that I can use for now for this part? Like anything to increase my attack? Like the power rush, like the power plus badge or something? I don't. That's unfortunate. I would kind of like that. But if the power bounce and multi bond combo works for me, then fine, I'll take it. Amazing Daisies have a really rare chance that they'll stay in the battle after the first turn that you make, so... It's a really rare occurrence, so if you want to fight them, go ahead. But you don't have what I want, so I'm going to pass on you. I know this is really not the best way to spend my time in a video, but hey, I want to fight these guys. I mean, you can come back in here as long as you leave the area and come back. I just want to see if you have... Oh no, you just have four of you. That's great. I don't really care about any of you. I, I'm sure I know I'm missing out on a lot of star points. I'm missing out on a lot of money. But really, money and it's not... And star points itself, it's not really a challenge here. Because I'm just going around looking for these fools. Okay, two, I can deal with two. 
like I said, I really don't, I really feel sorry for using this as a way to make the video longer. But I kind of want to fight another Maisie Daisy. Just for the fact that I can show one dying and how much star points it gives. Because it, it really is a lot. Like, I'm not exaggerating. It will give you around 40 star points. More than that, possibly. Now, if I leave the area and come back and walk back inside, they respawn. So, I'm just gonna take one more quick cycle around. Actually, I don't think I may respawn. Do they respawn? Are you gonna show me the same fight I just met- I just had? Yeah, you are. Okay, so... Eh. You know what? I don't really care anymore. I mean, I would like to find one <clears throat> and kill one off, but if it's not worth just going back and forth and fighting a bunch of fights that I don't feel like fighting right now. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's not gonna kill me if I leave the area and come back. Like I said, maybe when I... There's more... You have more than one chance of fighting these guys. I'm just kind of doing this so I can talk about stuff. Be like, hey, what's going on with my life? Well, I haven't even said anything that has involved in my life at all in this video, so... Why would I say that, right? I don't know. But this is just an ex... This is... This... I'll come... Well, since we're going to the Creepy Steeple next episode... We do have more than one chance of coming back here, so I don't think it's really a problem that I don't find one of this visit. So, I think that's enough for this video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed just me doing absolutely nothing for the last two minutes. So, in the next episode of Paper Mario 2000 Your Door, we will go into that creepy building over there, the Creepy Steeple. Alright? I will see you guys next time.